Hey guys, it's Alex here, and I'm back with um, my ultimate unemployed to world class. Uh, we are here now with our first full season uh, in China with uh, Yan Bian. Um, and actually, this year was my aim was to be up the top, even though we were uh, originally, um, due to the league, predicted to be 13th. Um, so I can just tell you that we are we're not 13th. Um, we're actually top of the league. Which is um, pretty crazy, I have to say. If you look at the uh, season preview, uh, no, twelfth, twelfth. We reached twelfth actually out of sixteen, and we are top of the league, which is pretty pretty cool, I have to say. So um, I'll just take you through what's been happening so far um, with our club uh, transfers wise. Uh, let's go to our transfers, not the league's transfers. Um, we did have. Uh, Martin Fidardo and Wang Zipeng come in. Um, then we did, made some more moves in January. We brought in um, Ga uh, Geng Zoshan, who is a centre back slash right back. Um, needed some well, a better centre back basically, so we decided to bring him him in. He's got a good report on him, um, better than of other players we got there. Um, so that's good there. And then we also had two loans from our uh, affiliate Jiangsu. Uh, first is Zhang Xinlin, um, who is a left back, and then Tao Yan or y Yan. <laughs> Not too sure there, but he can play right back, right mid, right attacking mid, and striker. So he playing most most of the time right attacking mid, but it's quite good to have him on the pitch just in case your right back gets injured and you can put him there um, and switch things up a bit. Uh, we did let a few people go, people that were just a bit, like people were putting bids in for them, and they're just players that won't ever play for me, so not too bad, Bro um, got about 25.25k actually uh, in the end for all of them, um, so that's pretty good to see, um, but let's just go into the fixtures, um, so we had some friendlies, we actually did win all of them, it's quite hard to get friendlies, because no one is like available for friendlies, which is bit odd so we only had uh four friendlies this year um we did win all of them we went to our first game versus the cheng uh we won that three two jimbo with uh two and martin fedado with a last minute winner actually uh what a way to introduce yourself um yeah then we played uh meizu who we got a one one draw away jimbo with our goal there uh, after they got a really early goal um then we played ren rene who were I think the original, well, like one of the favourites of this league, and we beat them 5 3. Uh, Jimbo with two, uh, Chi Zongu um, with one, Gosse and Fadado all with ones there. They did have a player sent off on the fifth minute, um, but they still did pull some goals back. Um, but yeah, we won that one. Uh, we then played Wuhan, 4 1 win. Uh, Gao Wanguo, Gosse with two, and Yan with his first goal for the club on loan. Uh, four one versus Yong Chan, who Chang, who are quite uh, like one of the favourites to go up as well. Um, so that was a, this was a good win. Um, they did actually take the, the lead, and it took till second half for us to get back into it. Gosse, uh, Sui Ren, Kim Ki Su, and Gang Wang uh, with the goal. So it, was a, it looked uh, convincing, but it was a lot closer than it actually was. Um, we then played Shenzhen at home. Uh, Sui Ren. 1-0 win, uh, quite surprising, uh, there's only one goal in it, so yeah, because it's been quite high scoring games really. Um, Zing Tao after that was a 4-2 win, Jimbo with a hat-trick and Kim Ki-Soo with a goal. 2-2 versus Hang Zhu uh, away, Serge Gosse and Wang Guo with the goals there. 3-0 uh, versus Baxi, uh, Gosse, Yon and Wang Guo with the goals. Then a 3-2 win over Beijing IT. Um, quite a close game. Uh, we did have a man sent off as well towards the end, but Jimbo, uh, Sui Ren, and Tao Yan Yan got the goal. Uh, first time he didn't score in the game, and the first loss of the season came in the FA Cup versus Wuhan. After beating them 4-1, uh, I was a bit more confident, but we lost 1-0 to a goal in the third minute and just couldn't back, get back into the game, which was really annoying. Uh, but we could focus on the league, I guess, a bit more after that. Uh, we got a 4-1 win uh, over Zhong Ze. Uh, Gosse, Yan with two, and Kim Ki Su. We did lose to um, Song Song Jian, uh, two 0 
they got one right after half time and then as we were pushing for that uh, equalizer they got a second goal really annoying it always seems if if you go overload and your goal down the last minute or like 10 minutes the other team will score i just don't do overload anymore because i know the other team are going to score which is really annoying um that, but after that was a 4-1 win over um Riz Riz Clan, <laughs> Tao Yan with two, uh, Sun Jun and Wang Guo with one, uh, three three draw with uh, Song Ji, uh, Jimbo with two, and an own goal, and then finally three two win over Tian Shun, and that was a Jimbo hat trick as well, even though he missed um, a penalty, but he st we still got those three goals. So that is it for um, how we got there. If you look at the first division, Jimbo is up there with 14 goals and average rating. Wangu is up there with assists, um, and Jimbo with most player of the matches. But we're top at the moment, 36 points, four clear from Hangzhou, um, and then Yong Zan, Yong Chan, and Rene uh, make up the top four. And then there's a bit of a gap to Zongji and the rest of them. Uh, so doing pretty well so far, I have to say. Um, a lot better than I thought we would be doing. Um, if we look at our squad. And the statistics of them. Um, goals wise, obviously Jimbo is top with 14. Uh, Tao Yan and Gose level on 7. Wango and Kimki Su, uh, well, 5 and 3 there. And then assists wise, I guess Wango is 7. Gose is 6, along with uh, Sui Ren. Jimbo with 4, along with Kimki Su. And then average rating Jimbo, Kimki Su, Serge Gose. So Really, our, our front line is sort of defending us here. The defence and goalkeeper aren't the best, um, but yeah, let's let's continue um, and see how it goes. Um, but yeah, so I think I will be back towards well at the end of the season because we're halfway through now. We reached the halfway point. We are top. Hopefully, we can continue our form. Um, we do have the best goal difference. We've got 44 goals scored, 23 against. Hangzhou also have 44 get scored, but 34 against. So. We've got quite a sizable goal difference over them. Um, I do really like how you can it shows you who you scored against and conceded against and who you've won and drawn and lost against. Pretty cool. Um, but yeah, so I think other than that, there's not much going on really. Um, training, staff, team, well, team report. Um, yeah, nothing really going on. Um, but... Better than last year, definitely. Uh, at the moment, we're on course for a promotion, uh, winning and winning our first trophy would actually be nice. Um, but yeah, so I will be back uh, at the end of the season. Anyway, guys, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. It's been Alex, and I'll see you guys later.